Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll work with the replace VVA function. And before we start, I want to clarify what's the difference between the replace VVA function, the replace Excel function, and I've already discussed that in a previous video. Uh, that other video is called Excel functions versus VVA functions. And as one of the examples, I show the replace function. And this is just the replace function that we can use here in the worksheet. And I've covered that in that other video, so I'm not gonna go through the, through the syntax here. Now, there is yet another replace function, or rather we would say the replace method of the range object. And this actually corresponds to this Excel replace functionality where we can find some text and replace with some other text. And, and for that, we need to uh, select a range first. So let, let's say I select this range and I want to replace the replace me with um, something else. And then we can replace once or replace all and so on. You've probably used that many times. So that's actually the replace method of the range object. So, but today we're gonna be working only with the replace VVA function. And yet to maybe explain this a bit more, let me go to the object browser. And if we select here all the libraries and we search for replace, you see we get a bunch of different things here. So one of these is actually the replace method of the range object. This one I'm highlighting right now. But you may be confused because you will see that in the object browser, the methods are referred to as functions, right? So we have it down here, the function replace, and we have all the different uh, parameters for that function or method. Because as we've discussed in previous videos, in the first videos of the Excel VVA object series, we know that um, this symbol is used to show the methods and methods that are called also functions in the object browser. This other symbol with the, with the envelope on the hand is used for properties and the thunder is used for events. So, but anyway, function or method, this is uh, actually a method of the range object. It needs a range to replace the content in that range. Then if we go down a bit here, you see just below we have another replace function that corresponds to the strings class. And this is actually the VVA replace function. As you see is here together with many other string functions, string VVA functions. And here below we have the syntax. It's also a replace function, but as you see, it accepts a different set of parameters. Some of them are actually the same, but they have a different name and they are in a different order. Um, so that's the replace VVA function. If we go down two lines below, we see another replace function that corresponds to the worksheet function class. And this one is the Excel built-in replace function. And again, down here we see uh, it accepts a bunch of parameters and some of these are similar to the other but they actually have but they actually follow a different order okay so i hope this didn't confuse you too much um, now with all that being said i hope also the difference between the different replace functions is now clear and we're gonna work now with the replace vva function and as a simple example i'm gonna use a string variable called old version, and that's going to be Microsoft Excel 2013. And this is, as I said, a string variable. And now we're going to use the replace VVA function to set the new version as replace. And as you see, we get here the parameters that we need to, to change. And the first is the expression, so we're going to use the old version. The second is what we want to change, and this is 2013. And we're going to replace this with 2016. 
Now if we display the new version and run the macro, we get Microsoft Excel 2016. Okay, that's a very simple example. I've used that in a previous video as well. So just to get you started with the replace function, but actually the replace VBA function accepts a few more parameters. So let me probably put it up here. Parameters are, as we've seen, is the expression where we want to replace something. The find parameter is what we want to replace and the replace parameter is the replacement text. But then it also accepts a start position, which is the point from where we want to replace the text. Then the count parameter, which is the number of times we want to replace that text. And finally, the compare parameter, which can be basically either binary or text. And by default, it's binary, and that's case sensitive. So now let's go back to this simple example, and let me show you how you can use the start parameter. So if, if here we continue, we add another comma, you see we are now able to add the start parameter. And for example, let's say we want to start actually after Microsoft. So we want to take only Excel 2013 and replace with 2016. We would then use the number 10. So we would start after the 10th character. And now if we run the macro, you see we get only as a result Excel 2016. So we've started after the 10th character and in this part of the string replaced 2013 with 2016. That's how we would use the star parameter. Now let me show you some other examples. Let's say we have a telephone number in this form and we want to get rid of the hyphens, for example. So that would be as simple as replace, as we've seen already earlier, using the tel, the telephone, and then replacing the hyphen with nothing. If we run this, we would get now the telephone number altogether, or we could replace it with a space and so on. There are several possibilities. Now, we could use the count parameter to only replace maybe the first hyphen. So we separate the country code from the rest of the number and we just want to remove the first hyphen. Then we would come here and say, uh, as you see, now it's asking for the star parameter, but we are not going to use a star parameter or we can just leave it as one, which is the default. And now the count uh, parameter is where we want to just replace one of the hyphens. There are three or, or four of them, but we are gonna replace only the first one. So if I run the macro now, we see we've replaced the first hyphen with, an, with a space, but we keep the other ones. So that's how we can use the count parameter. Now, we didn't use the compare parameter, but let me show you in this first example, if we want to replace Excel with, for example, Outlook, um, and we run the macro, it's changing Excel with Outlook, but if we have Excel in capital letters, it's not gonna work. You see, it didn't change it because it's case sensitive. If we want to make it insensitive, uh, we would use the compare uh, parameter after this one, and now the count can be just one, or we can leave it empty. And the compare parameter, as you see, is one of these three options, from which, as I explained earlier, we can only use the binary compare, which is the default, or the text compare. If we use the text compare, it's not gonna be case sensitive. So if I run the macro now, it changed Excel with Outlook, regardless of using uh, capital letters. Now, finally, there's another thing we can do with the replace function, and that's count a character. So let's have a variable, let's say occurs, occurrences of that character in a given string, and we can get that as the difference between the length of the string minus the length of replacing in the string that character with an empty string. 
So this formula here is giving you the occurrences for a given character. Let's have an example. Let's take the telephone from the previous macro. And now let's say we want to see how many hyphens we have in this telephone. Well, in this case, it's clear we have actually three. But then we could say the length of the telephone minus the length of replacing in the telephone the character hyphen with nothing. Then if we display the course, we would get the number of hyphens, which is three. So that's a simple formula using replace to get the occurrences for a given single character. Note that this will not work if we add text here. It's just for one single character. And that was all about the replace VVA function. Thanks for watching.